Okay, here we have an application problem. This one says the John Deere company has found the revenue from sales of heavy duty tractors is a function of the unit price P in dollars that it charges. If the revenue R is this function, what unit price, so that should be unit, I can't, evidently I can't type, what unit price in dollars should be charged to maximize revenue? And then what is the maximum revenue? All right, well, here's our original function here. And uh, because this is quadratic, that means that we have an A value and a B value and a C value. So let's go ahead and identify that first. A in this case is negative 1 half. It's what's in front of the squared term. B is 1900. This is what's in front of the plane variable. And we don't have a C value out here, so our C value is 0. Now, because our A value is negative, that tells us that this function is going to open down. Well, if this function opens down, then that means that it's going to look something like this. So that tells us that we're going to have a maximum out of this function. Well, what's nice about that is that's exactly what they're asking us. They're saying what price should be charged to maximize the revenue and what is the maximum revenue? Well, luckily we have a maximum point here. So really what they're asking us to do is to find the vertex. Now we're kind of doing some preliminary work here before we actually do it so we'll know what it is that we're finding. Now, also I want to think about points here. Our points usually come in the form of x and y. But in this case, we don't have x or y in this original function. Instead of where we normally see x, we see p. And our y here is taken over by an r. So that tells us that our points are going to come in the form of price, comma, revenue. So when we find the maximum, we're finding the maximum price and the maximum revenue. Now let's just go through and do it. We know that normally x equals negative b over 2a. Well, we don't have x this time. We have p. It just replaces that variable. It's the same exact thing. So now we can go find um, p will equal negative b, which in this case is 1900, over 2 times a, which is negative 1 half. And now we just simplify. So we have negative 1900 divided by 2 times negative 1 half is negative 1, which tells us that our price is $1900. That's our maximum price. Now, we can use that to find the maximum revenue because revenue will equal negative one-half times the price, which we found to be 1900 squared plus 1900 times the price, which we said was 1900. And now we can find this, because, and we can even do this on your calculator. You could take 1900 and square it multiply by negative one-half and add 1900 times 1900. We should end up with 1,805,000 as our maximum revenue. Now this is especially where um, using just this formula is so much easier. If we were going to graph this on our calculator, we would have had to increase our window. Our x's would have had to have gone to, from like 0 to 3,800 or 4,000. And our y value would have had to went up to about 2 million in order for us to be able to see that graph. That would have been very difficult for us to just reason out. Um, so this is really nice to be able to use this quick formula and find that highest point.